kickoff 2023, a three-fight win streak could be the eminent reality for Jeremiah Andrew. The independent welterweight spent last year racking up wins and rising the ranks of the amateur welterweight scene. And Jason, a win here tonight could put him in elite company. He would be just the sixth active fighter in Utah with three straight wins. He's, he's, good. he's in a great spot tonight. We'll see where he's going to land in the rankings after this fight. He's got Clay Cowell in his corner, so you know he's going to be ready. On a two-fight winning streak is Jeremiah Andrew. A unanimous decision back in May and a rear naked choke in the first round of Cody Brown back in August of 2022. Undefeated at welterweight, I do want to mention that. In his debut, he was at middleweight. That was back in March of 2021. He took 13 months off during that time. And then in his second fight, gets the win. His third fight gets the win now is on the brink of a three-fight win streak, and that is something special. That is something definitely to be looking forward to if you are Jeremiah Andrew. Still getting checked out, but yeah, rolling with Clay Collard. Currently the number 21 of 55 fighters that are welterweights in the state of Utah. He could move up with another win here tonight by a large margin. There he is, Jeremiah Andrew entering the cage with three fights. Two and one, the independent welterweight, and we are ready to bring out his opponent, Jared Johnson, right now. Yeah, yeah, let's go. And for the third time in just five months, Jarrett Johnson makes the walk. The one-in-one -one fighter drops down to welterweight tonight to welcome Jeremiah Andrew in his first matchup. Not against a debuting opponent, and Jason, sometimes a debuting opponent might be a tougher scene because there's no tape on the guy. Here tonight, Johnson can look back at three fights, and that's something that he could really look forward to when he's fighting someone like Jarrett Johnson or uh, Jeremiah Andrew, I apologize, he can look at what his matchup's going to be like. Yeah, huge huge advantage to be able to watch some tape on a guy. Like you said, when you get those debuters in there, you just never know what you're going to get. You don't know, is the guy a wrestler? Does he want to stand? What's he going to do? You don't you, you don't know any of his tendencies, so having a little bit of tape is going to be huge. We'll see if he can capitalize on it. Johnson winning his first fight back in August of 2022. It was a win in the first round via TKO. His second fight was a loss in the first round to Anthony Gillette back in December, and a quick turnaround once again. Three fights in a very short amount of time for the fighter out of Mandrill Fitness. The first of three, Alex Eastman still to make the walk as well as the legendary Kerry Latimer. And Jarrett Johnson getting second place in, an, in a local impact jiu-jitsu tournament back in September of 2022, something that he's definitely been working on. But his first win was a TKO. That was back at heavyweight. I am very curious to see what the power strength transfer is here in this fight with someone who is really a true welterweight and then someone who has dropped a lot of weight recently. I wonder if the power is still there. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to find out tonight. I, I'm really impressed with the amount of guys here that have lost a lot of weight to get in here and get into this cage. And you know me with my nutrition background, and, and I love helping fighters. I love helping people with their nutrition. And to be able to see that tonight, it's, it's amazing. Looks like we're getting some fingernails cut. It looks like, I don't know if I've ever seen anything like this, Jason. No, I bite my fingernails. So you wouldn't have to worry about it if I ever got in the cage, which I'm not. Oh, I think they're... Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen anything like this before, but Jared Johnson, one and one. Jeremiah, two and one. Andrew, the independent fighter. Johnson, out of Mandrill Fitness. And for Jared Johnson, all of his fights end have ended, I should say, in the first round. As for Jeremiah Andrew, been to the second round once, gone to the decision once, and had a finish in the first round once as well. You know, Blake, this is a great opportunity. If you are if you own a nail salon and you want to be a sponsor of your fighting championship, we might have a spot for you here. That's an incredible <laughs> point right there. And there he is, Jared Johnson entering the cage. Jared's got a lot of fans here. The local fighter entering the cage, and we are ready to announce him in right now. For your patience, everybody. We got to make sure we have that doctor on hand for each fight. 
But Fierce fans, our next fight of the evening is sponsored by The Spot. Be sure to visit their booth this evening in the concourse and choose from different styles of their soft screen printed shirts, hoodies, and more. Show off your style with The Spot, creating true modern revolution, a true blend of real American culture. This fight is an amateur welterweight bout scheduled for three three-minute rounds, and when the fight begins, the referee in charge will be ruling day, ruling day. Introducing the first fighter, fighting out of the blue corner, he holds an amateur record of two wins and one loss, and he weighed in at 169 pounds. He's fighting out of bona fide. Pierce fans, make some noise for Jeremiah Andrews! And introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, he holds an amateur record of one win and one loss, and he weighed in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Mandrill Fit and Combat Academy, Fierce fans make some noise for Jared Johnson! Jeremiah Andrew in the white, Jared Johnson in the black. This fight is brought to you by The Spot. They've got a beautiful booth out there, Jason. They have a beautiful booth out there. They're actually in uh, Fashion Place Mall in Salt Lake City. Andrew throwing heavy early. Oh, big head kick. Johnson trying to get it to the ground quick. Andrew with some crisp shots landed already. These Idaho fighters are bringing it all night long. They are all gas, no breaks. I've called a couple fights here in the state of Idaho. And they just go from Jump Street. Nice knee to the inside of the leg there, landed by Johnson. You can Andrew tell with a nice knee returned as well. Sorry, Jason, I cut you off. I was going to say, Johnson is really scrappy, trying to make this fight ugly with Andrews. Johnson trying to rip to the body. Andrew doing a great job. Andrews, I apologize. You talked about Johnson losing that weight and keeping that strength. It looks like he, he still has that strength because he's, he's right now he's making it ugly for Andrew. Andrews. Digging to the body is Andrews. Johnson returning a few of his own. I think those knees are starting to hurt. Jared Johnson looks to be hurt, covering up, trying to break through the guard is Jeremiah Andrews. Johnson returns one more, and now throwing caution to the wind. The two are throwing left and right. And now Johnson's landing some shots. Jeremiah Andrews landing knees at will. Johnson is not, oh, oh, it looks like we got a little bit of a low blow there. A lot of knees being thrown in those exchanges. And when you throw caution to the wind, sometimes things like that can't happen. Yeah, Jason. it can happen. I don't think it was intentional by Andrews at all. You know, just when you think the fight was going to get stopped, Johnson starts throwing throwing some shots back and he ends up connecting they just started going back and forth I'm just gonna let him recharge a little bit here and get back to throwing some leather Andrews is able to land some very clean shots specifically those knees and it looked like it was close to the end for Jared Johnson but still able to come back I look the ref was taking a hard look when, when Andrews was throwing a lot of those shots in there but just when you thought it was over, like I said, Johnson comes back and starts swinging. I don't necessarily think I would call this a break for Johnson. <laughs> He's just got need, but nonetheless. Johnson still seemingly in some pain. Hands on his knees. But does get five minutes when a referee does stop for a low blow. This is where I like having we have Joel on the podcast, podcast or on the, on the broadcast with us. He's, you know, do you take that full five minutes, or you just you kind of shake it off and get right back in there? I guess every fighter has their preference when it comes to that. Looks like they are ready to go once again. A 
crisp left shot landed there by Andrews. Johnson has a chin because he ate some big shots on that, on that exchange. Andrews lands another one to the body and oh, him! Another one down! Wow! Pierce fans, referee Rulin Day has called a stop to this contest at two minutes and six seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout in the blue corner, Jeremiah Andrews! Jeremiah, come on over here, man. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with your winner, Jeremiah Andrews. Jeremiah, that was an impressive performance, man. You look phenomenal tonight. Did you expect Johnson to come in here and be as tough as he was? Because he ate some big shots and he threw some big shots back. Were you hurt at any moment in the fight? No, I wasn't hurt at all, but I knew he was going to come in and he was going to come hot. So we were ready for it. I feel good. It was a good fight. Hats off to him. He was tough. So you're 3-1 and one now, 3-0 and oh at welterweight. What's next for you? You, you? you clearly made a name for yourself tonight. Get back to the lab and get to work and see what comes up next. Are there any friends, sponsors you want to give a shout out to? Absolutely. I'd like to thank my corners right here, Clay Collard and David Gorham. I'd also like to thank everybody from Colossal and Fighters Chance and everyone that's been part of this fight camp. I'd also like to thank my sponsors, uh, Argent Wear, Sturt Nutrition, uh, FMF Trucking, and Jesse Scooter Tattoos. And I'd like to thank all my friends and family that made it out tonight. Awesome. Phenomenal performance tonight, Jeremiah Andrews. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for your winner. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching Fierce Fighting Championship on YouTube. For more daily content, make sure to click that subscribe button as well as the bell so you don't miss any of our daily fights, podcast clips, highlights, as well as our full weekly podcast. If you want to tune into one of our live shows, go ahead and head over to FierceFightingChampionship.com.